Hello, my name is Eran and welcome to part 5 of my World 20 Master Series. Specifically, this is part 5.1. In section 5 of the series, I will talk about the sidebar, this whole thing right there, which contains a lot of interesting things. I'm going to start with the chat. If you're completely new to World 20, if you've never touched this system before, this video is the most important one. This is for players and guides. Just a bit of advanced stuff later on, but if you don't know anything and you have to play on Roll20, this is the one to watch. First of all, take a look at the chat. This is the log for everything that happens in the game as far as communications go and rolling. First of all, it's a chat window. You can type whatever you want and it will appear as if you've written it. One thing for uh, mostly GMs is you can change what character writes this something and it will appear as that character. Players can do it too if they control multiple characters or if they just want to have their character portrait show instead of their player icon. This is especially good if you're playing Roll20 just in chat. It's slightly less useful if you're playing with voice because you're just gonna say what you want. The first thing you need to know, as it is said here in the Roll20 kind of tutorial, is how to just roll. You can type slash roll or slash r and any type of combination of dice and modifiers that you want. For example, here's something you can only do in Roll20 and not with any real dice. I can roll 1d37 plus 2d26 plus 1d2 plus 3d3 plus 17. And it rolls everything, gives you the result and sums it up. For those of you wondering what is this roll, where does it come from, if it's actually randomly generated or not, you can see this. This is called the quantum roll. Roll20 uses results from a hardware random number generator created from quantum fluctuations, which means this is one of the three known ways today of making what we call true random results. So if you're rolling on Roll20, you can be sure that it's random. And if you're unsure that it's random, you can look at the quantum roll page. It will show you all the results of all D20 rolls across the system today. And there's a lot of them. As you can see, we have 212,000 rolls today with an average roll of what you'd expect from a D20. And you can see that just about even is what you'd expect. If you want to roll in a cleaner, nicer way, you can use what is called inline rolls. Any roll in anything that goes into the chat, except table results, apparently, if you have two opening square brackets and two closing square brackets, any formula inside will be rolled and calculated. For example, and it will just output a number which you can mouse over to see exactly what was rolled. So you can say, I roll Arcana 1d20 plus 5, and you just get the results. If you want to make a roll and not show it to the rest of the players, just you and the GM sharing a secret, you can use GM roll, and then whatever you roll will be whispered. As you can see, it has a yellow background instead of a blue background, which means it is rolling in a whisper that only you and the GM can see. You can also just whisper GM anything you want and it will whisper to the GM. This also works for any other character or player in the game. Just type whisper, start typing the name and complete it and type whatever message you want. Because I'm the only one in this game and I, I'm the only one with characters, it all goes to the GM. But trust me, it works. This way you can also say I roll Arcana. 1d20 plus 5 and only the GM can see that. Also it can just do math if you want but you do have to use some kind of rolling mechanism either slash r or inline rolls like how much is 37 plus 65 or 65 plus 37 if you're playing a game like Savage Worlds or Shadowrun, you can use exploding dice with the punctuation mark. It works like this. You just type any roll you want, roll a ton of d6s, add the punctuation mark at the end, and as you can see, it rolled six more because we had six exploding dice. More relevant to D&D is you can also roll under or over a target. For example, if you want to see if your breath weapon recharged, just type slash R, 1d6, higher than 4, which will give a result that is 4 or higher for some reason, and let you know if that's a success. 
and this is mostly for GMs, but you can also type slash DESC, as in shorthand for description, and type something, and it will show up differently inside the chat, so you'll know it's outside of talking. But when I'm trying to scroll back and see things that I've typed, it's easier to just type things regularly. And that's it for the chat. This is basically all you need to know about it, and I'll see you next video.